Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 35th question from CBSC Class 10 Examination, 2022-23, Section D, where each question is of 5 marks. Now, this question has an OR question as well, and both the questions are from Arithmetic Progressions chapter. So, you will be finding the solution to both the questions in the same video. So, let us begin with the first one. The ratio of the 11th term to 17th term of an AP is 3 is to 4. Find the ratio of 5th term to 21st term of the same AP. Also, find the ratio of the sum of first 5 terms to that of first 21 terms. So, let us write down the given data and what is asked first. So, in this question, the ratio of the 11th term to the 17th term is given by the ratio 3 is to 4. Now we have to find out what is the ratio of the 5th term to the 21st term. So this is the first thing we need to find out. And secondly, we need to find out the sum of 5 terms to that of sum of 21 terms. So this is the next thing we need to find out. So let us focus on this term first. That is finding the ratio of the 5th term to the 21st term. So here we are going to make use of the nth term of an AP formula which is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d, where a represents the first term of the sequence and d represents the common difference. Now using this formula, let us frame an equation for the 11th term and the 17th term. So here we have written the expression for the 11th term, that is a 11, that is n is replaced by 11, is equal to, the first term is not given, so we will keep a as it is, plus, now n is 11 in this case, so 11 minus 1, times common difference is also not given so we will keep it as d. Now here this expression simplifies as a plus 11 minus 1 is 10 times d. Similarly we are going to find a 17 in the same way. So here we have written a 17 is equal to a plus 17 minus 1 times d. Now a stays the same plus 17 minus 1 is 16 times d. Now once we have got this in the question the data was given that a11 is to A17 is 3 is to 4. So let us write it as a ratio or a fraction. So here we have written A11 over A17 is equal to 3 over 4 as it was given in the question. Now substituting the value of A11 and A17, we are going to form a fraction which is A plus 10D in the numerator over A plus 16D in the denominator is equal to 3 over 4. Next, we are going to cross multiply, that is 4 multiplies with a plus 10d and a plus 16d multiplies with 3. So here we are going to get 4 multiplies with a giving us 4a plus 4 multiplies with 10d giving us 40d is equal to. Now 3 multiplies with a giving us 3a plus 3 multiplies with 16d giving us 48d. Now let us gather the like terms, that is we are going to take 3a on the left hand side and we are going to take 40d on the right hand side. So we are going to get here 4a minus 3a is equal to 48d. Now 40d goes on the other side and it becomes minus 40d. Now simplifying this 4a minus 3a gives us 1a or just a is equal to 48d minus 40d. They are like terms. So we are going to get it as 8d. Now let us consider this as our equation 1. Next, we are going to follow the same steps but for the 5th term and the 21st term. So here using the nth term of an AP formula, we have again framed an equation that is a phi is equal to a plus phi minus 1 because n is 5 here. So phi minus 1 times d, this simplifies as a plus phi minus 1 is 4 times d. Next, for a21, we have written a21 so n becomes 21 here, is equal to a plus 21 minus 1 times d. And this again simplifies as a plus 20d. Now let us write them as a fraction. So we have a5 over a21 is equal to a plus 4d over a plus 20d. Now here we had already got the expression for a that is equal to 8d. So we are going to substitute the value of a here as 8d in the numerator and denominator. So 8d plus 4d over 8d plus 20d. Now since these are like terms, we can add them. So 8 plus 4 gives us 12. So 12d divided by 8 plus 20d is 28d. Now here you can see that we can easily divide the d. So d1 times and d1 times, they cancel each other. Now 12 and 28 go in the table of 4. That is 4 3 times is 12 and 4 7 times is 28. So we got the ratio of a phi and a 21 as 3 over 7 or writing it like a ratio a phi is to a 21 is 3 is to 7. So we got the first part of this question. 
Now let us focus on the second part which is to find the ratio of S5 is to S21. That is sum to 5 terms is to sum to first 21 terms. So let us write here. So here we have the formula for sum of n terms of AP as Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d where a is the first term of the sequence and d is the common difference. Now remember we are finding the sum of the same AP as we have got over here as it was mentioned in the question. So now let us find out the ratio for S5 is to S21. So using the same above formula we have framed a fraction for S5 and S21. So here for S5 we are going to substitute n as 5. So 5 over 2 times 2a plus 5 minus 1 times t. And repeating the same thing for the 21 we are going to write it as 21 over 2 times 2a plus 21 minus 1 times d. Now let us simplify this. Now here in the numerator and denominator 2 is a common factor. So we can divide the 2 from both the numerator and denominator. So we are left with in the numerator 5 times 2a plus 5 minus 1 is 4d. Simplifying the denominator in a similar way we get 21 in the bracket 2a plus 21 minus 1 is 20d. Now in the previous case we had got an equation 1 where a was equal to 8d. So here again we are going to substitute in place of a 8d. So we get 5 in the bracket 2 times in place of a we have 8d plus 4d and in the denominator we have 21 times 2 times 8d plus 20d. Now let us simplify this furthermore. So here in the numerator 5 times 2 times 8 is 16d plus 4d and in the denominator 21 in the bracket 2 times 8 is 16d plus 20d. Now we can add 16 and 4 because they are like terms. So in the numerator we get 5 times 20d and repeating the same in the denominator we have 21 times 16 and 20 adds up to 36d. Now we can divide the d and d from numerator and denominator and here we can further simplify this that is 20 and 36 goes in the table of 4. So 4 5 times is 20 and 4 9 times is 36. Now we cannot simplify this fraction further. So we get S5 over S21 as 5 times 5 as 25 in the numerator and 21 times 9 gives us 189. So writing this as a ratio we get S5 is to S21 as 25 is to 189. So this is the answer for the second part of this question. So here basically you need to remember the formula for nth term of the AP and sum of n terms of an AP to get the answers. Now let us move on to the next OR question. 250 logs are stacked in the following manner. 22 logs in the bottom row, 21 in the next row, 20 in the row next to it and so on as shown by an example. In how many rows are the 250 logs placed and how many logs are there in the top row? So let us understand this question by writing the data first. So according to the given question there are total of 250 logs which are stacked in the form of rows. So it is stacked in such a way that the bottom most row which I have given here the name as row 1 has 22 logs arranged. Now the row above it that is this row that is row 2 is going to have one lesser log than the previous one that is 21. Then in the row above it the number of logs kept are 20. And they have placed the logs in the form of rows. We need to find out how many rows are being formed and how many logs are there on the topmost row. So here we have written let the number of rows be n because we do not know how many rows are formed. Now the sequence formed is going to be 22, 21, 20, 19 and so on. So here let us write down the first term and the common difference of the given sequence. So here we have the first term a as 22. Then comes the common difference that is the second term minus the first term. So 21 minus 22 gives us negative 1. Then we have the total number of logs. So here it is going to represent the sum of n terms of the AP and it is given as 250. And the number of rows are considered to be n and this is what we need to find out. How many number of rows are there? Since sum of the sequence is given over here, we are going to make use of sum of n terms of an AP formula which is Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. We have Sn value with us which is 250 that is total number of logs. We have the value of a with us as 22 and we have the value of the common difference as negative 1. So substituting the respective values we have here 
250 is equal to n over 2 times 2 a is 22 so 22 plus n minus 1 times negative 1 now simplifying this we get 250 is equal to n over 2 now 2 multiplies with 22 giving us 44 now negative 1 multiplies with positive n giving us negative n and negative 1 times negative 1 gives us positive 1 that is by expanding these brackets now let us take 2 on the other side of the equal to sign so 2 multiplies with 250 giving us 500 on the left hand side is equal to now on the right hand side we have n and 44 adds with 1 giving us 45 minus n now expanding this bracket we get 500 equal to n multiplies with 45 giving us 45 n and n multiplies with n giving us minus n square now let us rearrange this expression so taking minus n square on the other side of the equal to sign it changes to positive n square and positive 45 n becomes negative 45 n when we take on the left hand side and 500 stays the same so the expression changes to n square minus 45 n plus 500 equal to 0 now let us factorize this so we are going to take into consideration 500 and prime factorize it which when added or subtracted gives us negative 45 and when multiplied gives us 500. So here I am going to start with the prime factorization of 500. So we have to take the prime numbers only. So I will be starting with the easiest number that is 5. So 5 is a prime number and 500 times gives us 500. Now again 100 goes in the table of 5. So 5 20 times gives us 100. Now again 5 4 times gives us 20. Now 4 goes in the table of 2. So 2 2 times is 4 and 2 1 times is 2. So let us see what are the factors that will add or subtract to give us negative 45. Now here 5 times 5 this is 25 and here 5 times 2 is 10 and 10 times 2 is 20. So when we add them we get 45. So the factors have to be negative 25 and negative 20 because when added they give us negative 45 n and when we multiply them they give us plus 500 so let us factorize this now so n square minus 45 n splits up as minus 20 n and minus 25 n plus 500 equal to 0 now let us group the terms that is we are going to group the first two terms and the last two terms together now here in the first two terms n is a common factor so we take n and in the bracket stays n minus 20 and from negative 25 and 500 negative 25 is a common factor and in the bracket stays n minus 20 remember the bracket terms need to be same when you are factorizing it so this is a kind of verification you can do to check whether your answer is correct or wrong next since n minus 20 is a common factor now we take n minus 20 as a factor and n minus 25 as another factor equal to 0 now let us write these factors independently so we have here n minus 20 equal to 0 and n minus 25 equal to 0 so we have two values of n over here as we can see that is taking minus 20 on the other side of equal to sign we get n equal to 20 and same thing over here n equal to 25 now there can be only one answer to this because either there can be 20 rows in which the logs are arranged or there can be 25 rows now to decide which answer is going to be correct we have to make use of the nth term of an AP formula. So let me write here. So nth term of an AP is given as a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times t where the first term is 22 and the common difference is t equal to negative 1. Now we are going to use this formula for n is equal to 20. So here we have n is equal to 20. Taking n as 20 so we write a 20 is equal to a is 22 plus 20 minus 1 times negative 1 now simplifying this we get a 20 is equal to 22 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 times negative 1 now here one more further simplification we have a 20 is equal to 22 plus 19 times negative 1 gives us negative 19 so 22 minus 19 gives us the value of a 20 as 3 now a20 equal to 3 means these are the number of locks present on the topmost row if there are 20 rows arranged. Now let us do the same steps but taking n is equal to 25 and let's see how many number of locks will be there. So here n is equal to 25 we follow the same steps that is a25 is equal to 22 plus 25 minus 1 times negative 1. Now simplifying this we get 22 plus 25 minus 1 is 24 times negative 1 in the next step we have 22 
plus 24 multiplies with negative 1 giving us negative 24 and here we get a25 as 22 minus 24 which is negative 2 which means there are going to be negative 2 logs in the topmost row which does not make sense because number of logs cannot be negative so n cannot be equal to 25 because it gives us negative number of logs so the number of rows required to arrange the 250 logs is 20 and on the topmost row we have three number of logs placed i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching